Let's now turn our attention to the education sector. The National Association of Nigerian Students is urging the Oprah Gases Congress to intervene over the continuous stay of students at home. During the protest to the headquarters of the ruling party in Abuja, they accused the party of not being fair to Nigerian students by not prevailing on the federal government and the Academic Staff Union of Universities to shift their certs in the interest of the Nigerian students. Helen Osamedekins reports. The Nigerian students were thrown into another state of despair after the Academic Staff Union of Universities announced its decision to extend its strike by another 12 weeks. The Academic Staff Union of Universities had initially embarked on a warning strike, which expired on the 8th of May. Students in different states had taken to the streets to protest the decision of the union. Today, they are at the national headquarters of the really no Progressives Congress. They expressed dissatisfaction over the party's continuous silence on the crisis between the Academic Staff Union of Universities and the federal government. The call on the leaders of the party to prevail on both parties to ensure that the strike is called off. They are in charge of the government. They should be able to call the persons in the various positions to, for them to look into the issue of ASU and then resolve the, uh, the long uh, the strike that has lasted for three months, and if I resolve the final, let it be on, let it be let it be a a, a, a record that this administration, the administration of uh, President Muhammad Buhari, will keep that he, the issue he inherited, and he was able to s provide an everlasting solution to it. The challenge the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission to probe all politicians involved in buying expression of interest form at exorbitant rates. We can't be having people duffing out money for political for political primaries while our while our students are at home, while our students are at home, and and the money put together, the money that this was generated, the various parties have generated so far, is even enough to start solving the ASU problem. We can we want EFCC if truly they are working, they, if truly they are living up to the, the aim of their establishment, they should investigate everybody who has picked up presidential form and then bring bring those who are fraudulent to book. ASU is demanding the release of the revitalization funds for universities as well as the renegotiation and implementation of the 2009 federal government and ASU agreements. Having done everything within their reach, the students are hoping that the ruling party will intervene and settle the issues that exist between the federal government and ASU for them to return to school. Helen Osamedei-Kings, TVC News, Abuja.